A high-speed rail link to Melbourne Airport could be built with money from private investors. The Premier wants to adopt a similar approach to that used in Hong Kong, as Brendan Donoghue reports from China. Before flying home to Melbourne, the Premier rode the high-speed rail service from Hong Kong Airport to the bustling city, a reminder of Victoria's embarrassing gap in its public transport system. I think there's great opportunities for the uh, private sector to play a role in in funding what would be a multi-billion dollar build. MTR, which is mostly government owned, operates the metro train system in Melbourne. In Hong Kong, it not only runs the trains on time 99.9% .9 of the time, it's one of the biggest property developers. MTR specialises in building around, under and over train stations, with shops, hotels and apartments like these in Kowloon, about 20,000 people within a drop punt of the station. People do need to figure out a way without using taxpayers' money to ensure the railway is feasible. It's a lesson for Melbourne, which is grappling with how to develop its run-down station areas, whether to include real estate and shops, which generate revenue to improve transport services. I think it's more horses for courses. I think you need to think about culture, whether people mine or they don't mind living atop a rail facilities. Hong Kong residents pay a premium to live near a train station. They expect and get a fast, clean and efficient service, including one every 10 minutes to the airport. And at two city train stations, you can skip the airport queues and check in your luggage before heading out for your flight. In Hong Kong, Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.